welcome back to Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Tracy Kubix. If you want to support a great cause and prevent child abuse, you don't want to miss the 12th annual Kids Fundango Festival. Here to tell us all about it is Regina Marscheider. Hi, Regina. Welcome to the show. Hi, Tracy. Thanks for having me. Sure. So let's start with the organization Stop Abuse. Tell us all about it and how did you get involved? Stop Abuse is a wonderful organization. We have an Emmy Award winning child abuse prevention program called Simon Says Just Tell. And it's a musical marionette production that teaches young children how to recognize, prevent, and disclose sexual abuse. In a safe environment, we also always have um, someone from Child Protective Services with us or law enforcement. We also have lesson plans for counselors and teachers for grades one through five that we give out before the program. And then afterwards we do an evaluation to kind of evaluate the effectiveness we're having on the children. That's great. And now speaking of Simon, you brought him with you. So yes. tell us about Simon. What's si he all about? Simon is the main character in our show. The kids love him. He sings a lot of songs. And um, the story of the show is actually about two little children, Lori and Doug. Mom is coming home from work and she went shopping because her boyfriend Martin is coming, uh, is coming over for dinner and she's been divorced for a while. So she thinks Martin is going to ask her to marry him and won't that be wonderful for the family, mm -hmm. but not for Lori, because Lori has difficulties with Martin. And Simon comes to save the day. He comes down and he tells Lori, I, I know what's going on with you and Simon, and you need to tell someone. So she doesn't know who to tell or how to tell, so he tells her to write a letter to mom, and she does. And that's a beautiful song called Dear Mother. Mm -hmm. And then the main song in the, in the show is called This Is My Body, and by the second verse, hundreds of children in the audience are singing along with Simon. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, so Simon is kind of the children's inner voice, their conscience, and uh, we're hoping that uh, he's becoming the national symbol for children's rights, which are human rights. Right, exactly. That's, that's wonderful. So talk a little bit about why this is a silent epidemic. Well, um, I got into this because I, I was uh, doing some programming at Montessori school and one of the teachers asked me if I had ever addressed that issue mm -hmm. and I said no I hadn't but uh, I did two years of research and development and found out a lot about the issue. Um, I spoke to child psychiatrists, doctors, um, law enforcement, clergy, victims, uh, perpetrators in prison mm -hmm. and then wrote my show. Um, it's a, it's a problem that doesn't get talked about. I right. would say that 90% of the children know their abuser. It's usually someone in the family or close to the family. And uh, actually, it wasn't until just a couple of years ago that I came out about my abuse. So it took me 50 years to tell what's happened, what happened to me. Mm -hmm. And yet, for almost three decades, I've been trying to teach children to give them a voice. Wow. So I didn't have the courage myself. Mm -hmm. but. Now I do, and right. I think Simon was my hero as well. Right, and he helps. And it's nothing to be embarrassed about, just say something. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing. There's mm -hmm. shame involved. There's, you know, you think it's your fault. I mean, there are so many different reasons why children don't want to speak up. A lot of times they're not believed. Right. And a lot of times, too, it breaks up the family. So there's a whole bunch of issues. But uh, I think now with all the news that comes out about all the abuse that's going on and the problem is massive right. that I think it's much easier in this day and age to talk about it. Exactly. Yeah. Great. Okay. And also the, the, the festival is coming up and so that's our big uh, showstopper now. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Our 12th Kids Fundango Festival. It's going to be at uh, Virginia Wesleyan College on October 22nd from 11 to 4 okay. and it's for the whole family, all ages, toddlers, teens, tweens, grown-ups, everybody. We'll have, it, we're also having a whole puppetry section where we will teach children to make puppets. They'll learn how to manipulate them. They can perform with them. There'll be puppets for sale. Uh, we have multicultural dance troupes that are going to be there, sports clinics, a petting zoo, hunt club is coming out, all kinds of workshops and activities, um, interactive games, uh, there's even a climbing tower. We're going to have celebrities there, DJ Doja, mm -hmm. our football hero wow. will be there, and um, Jan Trombley from uh, she she's a former Olympic gold medalist okay great well that sounds like a great lots time. of good stuff it yeah. is lots of good stuff okay well thank you so much for sharing this information with us today appreciate your time thank you 
For more information about this organization and their events, you can visit their website at stopabuse.com. Thanks for watching Hot Ticket. I'm Tracy Kubix.